So here's more of the um, brilliant ideas from KRRC. They're, they're creating vertical lines. They're going up and down the slope with this dozer creating basically downhill drainages straight down the hill. And what this is going to do is when it rains, the water is going to go straight down and into the river and it's going to drag all of the sediment. This is lake bottom sediment. There's the shoreline right there where the dozer is. That's the shoreline right there. And so this dozer is creating the opposite of what a logger would do. You create a water bar that's perpendicular to the direction of the flow of the water. So the water is going to go down slope in this groove and it's going to create a million little tributaries dragging sediment into the river as soon as it rains. So, you know, you look at what the, uh, the Peruvians and the Incans did. When they had a slope, they'd contour it perpendicular to the slope to keep water from eroding the slope. These guys are doing the opposite. They're creating grooves that are going up and down the slope. So when it rains, it's going to drag all the lake bottom sediment into the river. Now, is that what we want to have happen here? Do we want to put even more sediment into the river? Is that what we want to do, especially considering this is toxic sediment? This sediment here is toxic sediment. Who are these people? And what what is their real agenda here? Because obviously, I mean, empirically, it's not making the river better. This will make the river worse off. This is a crazy operation here. This is just crazy stuff here. And... Um, you just don't do this. You don't create a down, straight downhill ditch unless you want a million little tributaries dragging more sediment into the river. The river's choked with, with clay sediment. Let's add more. I mean, come on. What are these people thinking? This is like crazy. So, um, yep, that's what's happening here. Crazy stuff. It'll be lucky if this river ever recovers with these people here. They don't know what they're doing. That's the thing. They don't ask locals. They don't coordinate. They don't ask questions. They're, they, they're arrogant, and they have a lot of assumptions and a lot of theoretical science. The locals have empirical experience. We've lived here for a long, long time, and you think they'd ask us what's the best way to go. They don't. And then they bring in a tribe from down at the coast up here that knows nothing about the land on the Shasta tribal land to, uh, to manage vegetation, which, as we see, isn't going so well. There's the area. <laughs> and uh, both sides, by the way, they claim that both sides of, of this river, now they did seed both sides. You can see both sides. They claim that the horses have damaged the revegetation, but... If that was true, the horses don't cross to that south side where the dozer is. They've never been over there, okay? They they come on this side occasionally, as do the cattle and everything else, deer, elk, rabbits, everything that eats. But you look, based on their argument, and that, that, that guy down there at the San Francisco Chronicle, Curtis Alexander, was, you know, horses romping all over. There's what's romping all over the revegetation. That was seeded, and look what they're doing there. And now when it rains, it's going to wash all that away So, um, because of what they're doing. But if, they, uh, if the horses were implicated in changing the dynamic of the revegetation, then that side should be lush because that was seeded. Now, you look at the result over there. That's your control. No horses have been there. Is it lush? They reseeded it. Is it lush? No. Nothing happened over there, and nothing happened over here. Both sides are the same. So what that proves is the, the horses, the livestock, the deer, the cattle that were grazing had no, manif no real impact on the revegetation. Both sides of the river are the same. Nothing goes on that south side. It's just as barren as this side. So, you know, everything these guys do is just based on myth and theoretical science and false narratives.